This is video podcast five, pulmonary imaging and differential diagnosis part two. I'm William Herring from Albert Einstein Medical Center in Philadelphia. Remember these differentials are not intended to be all inclusive. They're designed simply as an aid to remembering a few of the most important causes for each of the findings shown. The way the presentation works is a case will be shown first as an example of the differential to follow. Use the pause control on your computer or MP3 player. The next slide will be the title of the differential and the number of causes. Again, use the pause control. The next slide will reveal the differential diagnosis itself. And the last slide will reveal the diagnosis of the original case. This podcast is designed to be used as either an audio-only or a video-only podcast or both. Here's your first differential. Pause the player. The differential is for middle mediastinal masses. There are four causes. Pause the player. The four causes of a middle mediastinal mass are lymphadenopathy, aneurysms, esophageal duplication, and bronchogenic cysts. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is hyaluradenopathy, bilateral or unilateral. There are five causes. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis for bilateral or unilateral hyaluradenopathy would include sarcoid, which is usually bilateral, tuberculosis, which is usually unilateral, lymphoma, which is usually bilateral, bronchogenic carcinoma, usually unilateral, and metastases, which can be either unilateral or bilateral. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is cavities containing masses. There are four causes. Pause the player. The four causes of cavities containing masses are aspergillomas, cavitating bronchogenic carcinomas, tuberculosis, and high dated cysts. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is airspace disease with effusion. There are four causes. Pause the player. The four causes of airspace disease with pleural effusion are staphylococcal pneumonia, streptococcal pneumonia, tuberculosis, and pulmonary infarct. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is a mass or density in the lung with ipsilateral hyaluradenopathy. Pause the player. The three causes of a mass or density in the lung with ipsilateral hyaluradenopathy would be bronchogenic carcinoma, lymphoma, and tuberculosis. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is a solitary pulmonary nodule. There are eight causes in the list. Pause the player. The eight causes of a solitary pulmonary nodule would include a bronchogenic carcinoma, hamartoma, histoplasmoma, tuberculous granuloma, bronchial adenoma, solitary metastasis, round pneumonia, and rounded atelectasis. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is for left-sided pleural effusions. There are four causes. Pause the player. The four causes of a left-sided pleural effusion can include Borhoff's syndrome, a dissecting aortic aneurysm, pancreatitis, or a distal thoracic duct rupture. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. 
The differential is for plural effusions. There are nine possible causes. Pause the player. Causes for a pleural effusion include congestive heart failure, metastases, pancreatitis, pulmonary thromboembolism, trauma, empyema, collagen vascular disease, an ovarian tumor, and chylothorax. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is multiple small calcifications in the lung. There are five causes. Pause the player. The causes of multiple small calcifications in the lung include histoplasmosis, silicosis, chickenpox pneumonia, pulmonary ossification secondary to mitral stenosis, and rarely alveolar microlithiasis. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is for a posterior mediastinal mass. There are three causes. Pause the player. The three main causes of a posterior mediastinal mass are neurogenic tumors, lymphadenopathy, or extramedullary hematopoiesis. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is mediastinal adenopathy. There are five causes. Pause the player. The five causes of mediastinal adenopathy can include bronchogenic carcinoma, lymphoma, tuberculosis, metastases, and sarcoid. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is lung disease with associated rib destruction. There are four causes. Pause the player. The four causes of lung disease with associated rib destruction include bronchogenic carcinoma, such as a pancos tumor, actinomycosis, blastomycosis, and multiple myeloma. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is pleural calcification. There are three main causes. Pause the player. The three main causes of pleural calcification are an old tuberculous empyema, asbestos exposure, or a hemothorax. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is for masses in the cardiophrenic angle. There are three causes. Pause the player. The causes of an apparent mass in the cardiophrenic angle include a sequestration, diaphragmatic hernia, or pericardial cyst. Here's the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is unilateral pulmonary edema. There are three causes. Pause the player. The causes of unilateral pulmonary edema include rapid expansion of a pneumothorax or rapid withdrawal of fluid from a pleural effusion, postural or disease in the other lung, for example, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Here's the last differential. Pause the player. The differential is reverse pulmonary edema. There are three causes. Pause the player. The three causes are eosinophilic lung disease, for example, Leffler syndrome or eosinophilic pneumonia, 
sarcoid, or pulmonary contusions.